Okay. And then you can go ahead and get your music started. Welcome again. Thank you so much. And let's get started in child's pose, please. All right, so bring your hips back to your heels and bring your forehead down onto your mat. And then your first moment first to kind of check in with self and, and see how you meet yourself inside of this space. And I, like any other yoga teacher or any other person, will never have any idea exactly what it is that kind of got you onto your mat this morning or how that felt. It might have been the easiest thing you were waiting for all day or a thing that you were pretty resistant to happening, um, but you're here. Okay? So inside of that choice, I get to close your eyes. You get to kind of uh, buckle into your practice. And as you start to tune into what it feels like to be with yourself on your mat, right? instead of making a decision about how your hour is going to go, you get to make the decision to stay open to whatever it is that shows up. And all together, right here, to begin, we'll start with a breath. So with an SH, empty out all of your air. Take an inhale through your nose. Feel it coat your throat and fill you up. Get really, really full and then hold it. And then open mouth, let it go with an H-A. Ah. So nice. That breath, that vibrational sound, that H-A or H-M. Hmm. Maybe a flutter of your lips. So, and any and all of those are available to you as often and as loud as you need. Right? So if at any moment throughout this next hour that breath ever gets stuck or held, then this child's pose is always somewhere you can pause. You can come back to child's pose if any moment starts to feel a little sticky, right? Or if at any moment you feel like bailing on yourself inside of your practice, right? Pause back to breath and then move back into the poses when you're ready. So once more right here all together empty out your air S A. Okay, nice slow breath in hold it at the top and then open mouth let it go H A. And keeping that vibrational quality starting to kind of rattle your bowl. So yeah, bring a little movement into it. Rock your forehead from side to side and let that movement trickle down your spine to your shoulders, to your middle back, to your hips as you rock your body side to side. Probably your fingertips forward towards the top edge of your mat so far forward, your elbows, your wrists, your forearms, peel away from the floor. Pent up onto fingertips, spread them nice and wide. And then on your next inhale, tuck your toes under, press your palms down, send your hips high, heels low, find a downward facing dog. Okay. And again, eyes might stay closed even inside of this one. Just start to move it around, pedal out the feet, bend your knees, maybe take some hops, nod your head, yes and no, yes and no, a flutter of your lips. A And then clean it up all together. So find an upside down V shape. Check out your hands. They should be shoulders width distance apart. Spread the fingertips nice and wide and press down into the knuckles of all 10 of your fingers. You stay lifted away from your mat. Check out your feet, feet hips width distance. It's about the crown of your head space, right in between the arches. And put a nice deep bend into your knees. Press chest to thighs as you send your hips a little bit higher and really slowly have your heels towards the floor. 
good. So the point here is not to get straight legs, right? It's to feel for length of box of legs and a nice long spine. So drop the weight of your head and then one more little space of box of legs, soften your heels a little heavier. Good, keep your left heel heavy. Inhale, reach your right leg up long back behind you. Go for length at first rather than height. So keep pressing into right palm and squeeze your right leg even straighter. Good, point the toes, inhale, kick up as high as you can, inhale. Good, exhale, bend the knee, peel it open and move it around. Stack your right hip on your left hip. Make circles, point, flex the toes, move it around. Good, next inhale, kick your leg up and back. And then exhale, gently kiss your foot down to the floor. Nice, next inhale, raise your left leg up and back. Again, go for length, press into left palm and kick your left heel away from it. Good, inhale, squeeze it straighter, lift it higher. Exhale, bend the knee, peel it open and explore. And then this time, left and right side probably won't look or feel exactly the same. So whatever it is you need right here, right now, take it, breathe inside of that. Good, inhale, kick the leg up and back. And exhale, kiss, foot down to the floor. Okay, take an inhale, bend your knees, look forward at your hands, and slowly step towards the top of your mat. Good, keep your hands rooted. It'll give you a little bit of that feel for hip stacking over shoulders. And once feet meet hands, you find a forward fold. So good, bend your knees a lot and let your head hang heavy. Yeah, let belly rest on thighs, chest towards knees, close your eyes. Good. A sway or grab for opposite elbows if that encourages you to fall a little deeper. And then release your arms if you haven't already. Measure your feet hips width distance apart, about two fists in between the arches of your feet. All ten toes point forward. And then inhale, half lift, bring hands to shins or thighs, and pause when your spine feels straight. Good, pull navel in, lean your chest forward, same time, draw your tailbone towards the wall behind you. Get shoulders away from ears, mini back bend behind your heart, give it one more inhale, lengthen, and then exhale, forward fold, let it go. Good, now press into your feet, next inhale, sweep your arms forward up, come all the way to stand, mountain pose, and close your eyes when you arrive there. Stand on your own two feet in a way right now that is really familiar. Let's have your heels into the mat. Spread your 10 toes really soft on the floor and draw up through the inner arches of your feet. Pull that lift through shins, sides, draw your kneecaps up. Anchor tailbone down and under, pull navel to spine, lift dome of rib cage away from your waist. And squeeze straighter through the arms, take the bend out of elbows. Spiral pinky, fingers in, soften your shoulders, down your back. And then flutter out your lips, release your jaw. And then if eyes are closed, gently flutter them open, look up at your hand. Take an inhale to reach up, send your hips forward as you reach up and reach back, find a slight back bend. Yeah, exhale, dive forward, forward fold, let it go, ha, good. Inhale, half lift, long spine, hands to shins or thighs. Good, exhale, release, forward fold, plant two hands down, step your feet back, pause inside of an upper push-up plank. Good, we'll stay here for a little bit. So set up your foundation in a way that you can stick with it. So spread the fingers wide, press down into tips of fingers. It's like you're trying to grab the mat underneath you. Use that to then press your chest a little taller. Good, shoulders away from your ears, pull your navel in to keep hips lifted in line with shoulders and same time, energetically draw up on your thighs as you squeeze your legs a little straighter. Good, chin away from throat, we're still in it. Good, now don't change anything else, just drop your knees down to your mat so that you're in a plank pose, but with knees on your mat. Good, send your heart a little forward, again, shoulders away from your ears. Yeah, trust me, keep your knees on your mat, inhale, press the mat away. Exhale, lower halfway down, get your elbows to your ribs and hold it there. Good, inhale, press the mat away. 
Good. Exhale, lower halfway and hold it. Good. Inhale, press the mat away. Once more, exhale, lower leg halfway, elbows in, hold it. And inhale, press the mat away. Nice, Caitlin. Tuck your toes under, hips high, heels low, downward facing dog. Good. From downward facing dog, spread fingers. Bend your knees. Look forward at your hands. Either inhale to look forward and hop or step top of your mat. Good. Feet hips width distance. Take an inhale through your half lift. And then exhale, forward fold, let it go. Ha. Take an inhale, rise up through mountain pose. This time go straight into your back bend. Look up, reach back. Exhale to dive forward to forward fold. And from forward fold, inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, release. Place two hands down. Step your feet back, upper push-up plank. This is where everything kind of makes sense, why we did knees on the mat, because here we'll build our flow. So if you need your knees on your mat, again, you can put your knees on your mat. Good, but wherever you are, inhale, press the mat away. Exhale, lower halfway, elbows touch your ribs. Good, inhale, heart forward, kick into tops of feet and hands, look up for upward facing dog, yes, bam. Exhale, tuck toes under, lift your hips high, heels low, downward facing dog. So awesome, let's put it together. Bend your knees, look forward, inhale. Exhale, step or hop, feet to hands. Good, inhale, half lift, you lengthen. Exhale, let it go, forward fold. Inhale, rise, mountain pose straight into your back bend. Your exhale to dive forward to forward fold. Good, inhale through a half lift. Your exhale to release, you plant your hands down. You can step back or hop two feet back into bent elbows and then you take your flow, okay? You lower down. You inhale through up dog, shoulders back. Your exhale takes you back to down dog. And now keep going on your own, these modified sun salutes. So you bend your knees, you step or hop forward. You find your half lift, your mountain pose back bend, your half lift and your flow. And we'll do it for about a minute. So without any kind of number you have to keep track of, you get to get so fluid inside of your movement. Inhale, I move. Exhale, I move again. Close your eyes. Just like what you built for yourself in the start of class with breath, that breath moves you here. Okay, so that inhales to rise, your exhales to soften, to release. Get kind of swept away inside of breath. So good. And the next time you find your downward facing dog, give yourself one more cycle through. And for your last one, it's your moment maybe to try something on you didn't utilize in the one before. Maybe you do it with your eyes closed. Maybe it's that H-A ha sound or H-M hmm sound. It looks so good. And once you find your down dog after final cycle, we'll pause there in that upside down V shape, fingers wide. Right, hips nice and high, heels nice and heavy. And if you are still moving, there's no rush. You'll get there when you get there. But if wherever you are, you are ready to join in, empty out all of your air. Good, inhale, toes to hips to fingertips. And then let it go, H-A, ha. Awesome. From downward facing dog, inhale, reach your right leg up and back. Yeah, exhale, quietly step your foot forward in between your palms. Nice. Spiral back, heel down to your mat. And inhale, reach your arms up for warrior one. And seal pinky side edge of your back foot down into your mat. 
Squeeze your left leg a little straighter as you send your left hip forward. And then draw your right hip back. Good, sit low and right lunge, knee over your ankle, nice sada. And then just like mountain from the waist up, biceps by your ears. Reach so much up, it's like your armpits get a little bit longer. Good, and then let's try something. So with your arms lifted, bend your left arm, um, turn your palm so it faces that space right between your shoulder blades. We'll go for cow face. So once you drop your palm behind you, you take your right hand and hook your left elbow. Good. Draw your left armpit up and keep your chin away from your throat. Good. Sit a little bit lower in your lunge and like a hook was on center of sternum, lift center chest a little taller. Yeah, if this is enough, you stay right here. If you want to go for a bind behind your back, you can take your right hand, drop it behind your back and reach for your top fingertips. You might not grab them. I'm not grabbing mine. You can grab your shoulders or um, whatever clothing you have in between your shoulder blades and one day get them a little bit closer. Good. Pull your belly in, lift your heart taller, sit low. Good. Take one more inhale here. On your exhale, release, two arms up towards the ceiling. Good, keep the legs, yeah, stay with it. Inhale to look up, to reach up, to reach back, back, back. Exhale, release, two hands down to your mat. Press into palms, pick up your front foot, step it back, upper push up, and then lower halfway down. Good. Inhale through up dog, exhale back to down dog. Nice, from down dog, inhale, left leg up and back. Good, exhale, left foot quietly between your palms. Use your belly, spiral back, heel down. You inhale, rise, warrior one, left side. Good, sit right into your lunge. Good, scissor inner thighs, right hip forward, left hip back, front knee over ankle. Right, navel to spy. It's not just like puff your heart forward, right? It's lift the entire dome of your ribs a little bit higher. And then sit a little, little lower because you did that. Good. All right, take your right arm. Bend your right arm, drop your arm, your palm right down your back between your shoulders. Good, draw the elbow a little more behind your head. And then take your left hand and hook your right elbow with your left palm. Good, draw the elbow a little up, stretch that right armpit. And then, yeah, maybe you snake left hand behind you, grab for right fingertips or close, and then keep sending belly in, heart a little up, shoulders away from your ears, but stretch your right armpit open. Breathe there. So nice, Ching. Sit a little lower. Good. Take one more inhale here. On your exhale, release the grip. Unravel two arms up. Good. Stay low. Inhale, look up, reach up, reach back, back, back. Exhale, release, two hands to mat. Step your left foot back and take your flow. Now your next opportunity to move here is that warrior one. You can keep that cow face arms if that was interesting for you. Take it once on right side and one time on left side. And it's a really, really cool moment inside of these opportunities for you to move on your own where you get to see how you keep yourself company, right? Because we spend every single second of every single day with ourselves, right? So who you choose to be for you is actually the most important relationship you'll ever have. Right? It lasts a lifetime. And a moment like this, where it's just you being with yourself, with breath, with body, right? you get to cultivate that relationship. So how you move, how you breathe, that's up to you. So, so strong.
And then again, once you find down dog, if you are still moving, you keep going. And if you're in down dog already, nice firm press of hands. I rotate the armpits towards the front of your chest. You spread the shoulder blades across your back. Draw your chest a little more to that. Yeah, body's a little warmer now. I think there might be a new centimeter of space to drop breath into. Good. Give yourself a flutter of your lips. A and then take a deep bend of your knees. Look forward at your hands. Give it a try. Hop. Feet to your hands. Yes. Good. Feet hips with distance. Inhale. Half lift. Long spine. Exhale, forward fold. That was really nice, Val. All right, keep your feet hips width distance. Again, that two fist measurement between the feet if you need it. And then inhale, hips low, arms high, chair pose. Good, right into it. Rock the weight back into your heels. And pull your knees back over your ankles and sit your hips more back and down because you did. Good, seal the pinky set edges of your feet into the mat. Kind of like you were trying to rip your mat in two. Try to pull them away from each other. All right now you're using your inner thighs. Good. Sit a little bit lower. Yeah. Navel the spine. Lift center chest taller. And then reach armpits through fingertips. Spread the fingers wide. The chin a little away from chest. Final moment. Sit low. Good. Inhale. Lift your heart. Exhale. Forward fold. Let it go. Ha. Take a moment, a pedal of your feet, bend one knee, then the other, nod your head, yes and no, yes and no. Can you find a release? And then inhale, hips low, arms high, chair pose, right back into it. To so find that place that you left off, sit right there. Good, weight in your heels, knees over your ankles. Able to spy, strong reach of arms and soft gaze. And a smooth breath. Even inside of the effort. Right? And even inside of a moment where maybe things start to get a little heavy, maybe things get a little sticky, a little rigid, you get to choose who you be for you. Good. One more inhale. Hip slow. Lift your heart. Exhale. Forward fold. Let it go. Ha. <sighs> Good, shake it out, pedal it out, let it go. Even that space that you think you're softening, right? That space you're really good at making it look like you're relaxing, soften there too. And then with eyes closed, inhale, hips low, arms high, chair pose. Yeah, one more. Good, close your eyes. Because it doesn't matter how low you sit. Right? And surprise, it doesn't matter how high you reach. Right? What matters is that you give yourself a chance to have an experience. And that you show up for yourself inside of it. Right? So when it starts to feel like something, stay. Because you have everything you need to be here. S-H. Good. Take an inhale right here. And an H-A. Ha. Good. Last one. Hips low. Inhale. Lift heart. Exhale. Forward fold. Let it go. Ha. Awesome. Inhale. Half lift. Long spine. Exhale. Release. Two hands down. Step back. Hop back. Take your flow. Right. Linger in that up dog. Nice big inhale. Nice long exhale, down, down. And then smooth inhale, reach your right leg up. Smooth exhale, step it in between your hands. Good. Spiral back, heel down, inhale, rise, warrior one. Good. Exhale, warrior two, peel it open. Right arm forward and left arm back. Right, pinky side edge of your back foot now parallel to the back of your mat. Sit low in front lunge. Still knee over ankle, but this time send your 
inner thigh more towards the front of the room. Yeah, feel for that. Right butt down and left butt behind you. Navel the spine again, lift center chest, but also back of heart a little taller. And then reach arm away from arm, fingertip away from fingertip, take up space and stay. Good. S A SH. Take an inhale, stay right here. Stay with an H A. Good. Now keep the legs. Look at your front palm. Flip your front palm skyward. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale, reach it up, 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 and then back. Reverse for it. Back hand can rest on your shin or your thigh. Yes, it can wrap around your back to front inner thigh. If you do that, grab your leg and then press away from it. Good. Everyone, sit a little bit lower. Good. And then reach more through your right fingertips. Fan right ribs open. Good. One more inhale to reach. Exhale, cartwheel, two hands stop. Step your right foot back. Take your flow. And once you exhale into down dog, make your way into warrior two on the left side. We will meet all together there. And so you're in how to rise through warrior one. Your exhale, you peel open to warrior two and pause. And set it up, starting with your feet. Okay. Press down into two heels. Energetically draw them together, light up the inner thighs to keep your heart lift. Get your front ribs together and then extend through center chest, through arms, through fingertips, even eyes closed. Good, stay, S, A, Sh. Okay, take an inhale, and then this time, H, M. Sit mm. over front palm, flip the palm skyward. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale, reach it up, reach it back, reverse warrior. Right, go for that side body length. So wherever back hand is, you lift away from it. Press more of right ribs into left ribs, and then fan your left ribs towards the ceiling. Good, chin towards your top armpit. Reach a little longer, nice, Sophia. One more inhale, kick down as you reach. Exhale, cartwheel, two hands down, step back, take your flow. And then warrior one, warrior two, reverse warrior. That is your final one breath, one movement for this hour. Take it slowly. Right? And not in a way that is holding back, right? but in a way that is you feeling every single sensation along the way. Right? Move like you're moving through molasses. Feel the air around you. Because 60 minutes on your mat is 60 minutes on your mat, regardless of how fast or slow you go. It's up to you to use that time in a way that really feels worth it. So it's not just checking your yoga off of a list, but it is letting this experience be something you want to be a part of. Close your eyes, move big, move small, move fast, move slow, find stillness. Just don't hold back. It looks so, so good. Once you finish your right side and your left side, you find your way back to down dog or child's pose. Of course, if you're in that stillness, give yourself to mat. And if you're in down dog, fingers wide, keep it nice and active. And then wherever you are, SH, push every, every drop of air out. 
Good. New, fresh, big breath in. H A. Inhale, reach your right leg up and back. Exhale, step it through between your hands. All right, keep your back heel lifted so all 10 toes stay pointed forward. Place your left palm down on the inside of your right foot. Reach your left arm to the ceiling. So it's a lunge with a twist. Good. Squeeze your left butt to send your left hip a little forward. Drop your right hip down, pull it slightly back, and then draw your left armpit more towards right knee and right knee towards your left armpit. Good, look up, reach so much up, bottom hand gets lighter. One more in half. Exhale, two hands down, frame your front foot. Good, spiral back, heel down. Tent up onto fingertips, send your heart forward. And then inhale, arms back, lift the torso off your thigh. Find power left. Good, squeeze back, leg straighter. Use the press of pinky side edge of back foot now to send left hip forward and draw right hip back. And then lift your arms a little higher. Yeah, you got it. Chin a little away from throat, arms a little higher. Squeeze the pinky fingers closer. Good, now bend the elbows, squeeze the hands to touch, and then punch the back wall. Good, take an inhale, heart forward. Exhale, release the grip, sweep your biceps to frame your ears, find extended power lunge. Good, chest a little bit lower, but arms a little higher, S-H. Good, inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two, peel it open, right arm forward, left arm back. Good, sit low in your front knee over ankle. Right. Sit over front palm. Take an inhale here, reach your arms apart. Exhale, side angle, right palm to the inside of your right foot. Reach your left arm skyward. And press your bottom arm against your bottom leg. So much that you drop more right butt under as you lean your left shoulder back. Chin over your top fingertips. Take an inhale here. Exhale, top bicep over your ear, reach towards the front of the root. Now from back foot through top fingers, get as long as you can. Good, press into bottom foot, take an inhale, and then float bottom arm up to frame your face, core strengthening. Good, squeeze biceps towards ears, more of right arm under as you lean your left armpit back. Yes, Barbara, take one more inhale to reach. On your exhale, two hands inside of your front foot. Good, pause there. Walk your left foot a little bit left and a little bit forward so you can keep it sealed to the mat. Good, now look at your belly button. Good, keep your feet exactly as they are. Take your right arm underneath your leg for ankle bind. Good, right shoulder, yeah, underneath the knee. That's it, Nina, and then grab your ankle with your right hand. Bring left hand to meet it. Good. So once you wrap your hands around your ankle, press the leg so much away from you. Like one day, the back of your head would get behind the leg. Yeah. Kick down into your feet. Press them out away. Take an inhale. Then exhale, unravel the hands. Two hands on your mat inside of foot. Good. Listen closely. First, press into palms. Step your left foot back. And then bring your right foot back to meet it, upper push-up plank. Good. Listen closely. Inhale, press the mat away. Exhale, lower halfway down, pause. Good. Inhale, press the mat away. It's happening. Exhale, lower halfway down, pause. Good. Inhale, press the mat away. One more. Exhale, lower halfway down. Yes, Alakshi, inhale, press the mat away. And then take your flow lower halfway. Inhale, through up, da. Exhale, to down, back. Good. Yeah, flutter out your lips. Let something go. And then inhale, reach your left leg up. Exhale, step it forward between your palms. Keep your back heel lifted, 10 toes forward. 
Right hand to inside of left foot, reach your left arm skyward. Good. Keep squeezing right leg straight and strong. Yes, good. And send your right hip forward. More of right ribs towards your left inner thigh as you look over your top hand. Good. Take an inhale, touch the ceiling. Exhale, two hands, frame your front foot, pause there. Spiral back foot down. Inhale, arms back, lift your torso, power left. Good. Press down, yes, into front heel, but also back foot. You use strength of back leg. Arms a little higher, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then bend the elbows, interlace your hands. Inhale, punch the arms back, send your chest forward. Exhale, release the grip, sweep biceps to ears, extend it. Good, stay low. Reach long, S-H. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Left arm forward, right arm back. Good, sit long. Knee over ankle. Good. Inhale, reach. Exhale, side angle. Left palm down, right arm up. Good. Press arm against leg. Leg into arm. More of left butt under as you open your chest to the side of your root. Good. Inhale to reach. Exhale, bicep over your ear, palm face down. Yes, you get nice and long. Again, through your armpit. Good. Press into bottom foot and lift bottom arm up to frame your face, core strengthening. Yeah, two palms face one another. It's kind of like mountain pose on its side, right? Reach so long. You got it. Stay low, inhale. Exhale, two hands down inside of your front foot. Good, walk your right foot a little right, a little forward, keep it sealed to your mat. Good, look at your belly button so you round your spine and then thread, left arm under your left thigh, left shoulder under the leg, ankle back. Left leg like a backpack strap, right? More over your shoulder as you look at your belly button. Nice, Michael, get your hips a little bit higher and draw your right hip a little more forward. That was nice. Yes, one more inhale. And then exhale, release. Two hands inside of your foot. Listen close, press into palms. All right, so now your back heel is lifted, press into palms, pick up left foot, quietly step it back to meet right foot, upper push-up. Good, we won't do push-ups this time, but inhale, press the mat away. Exhale, lower halfway down and your flow. Inhale, up dog. Good, exhale. Down, dog. And once you get to down, dog, you bend your knees, you look forward. We'll meet at the top of your mats in a forward fold. Good. Inhale for a half lift, a long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Let it go. So bring your feet up all the way together, feet, shins, knees, and thighs. And inhale, hips low, arms high, press your palms for thunderbolt. Good. Just like chair pose, except you've squeezed everything together. Right? So zipper your feet, your shins, your knees, and your thighs. Squeeze the palms together, no space in between the pinky edges of your hands. It might mean bringing your arms more forward in front of your face, right? So you can lift your chest a little tall. Good, sit low. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, forward fold, let it go. Good, inhale, hips low, arms high, palms crossed, thunderbolt. Squeeze the hands tight. Good, keep your hips low. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, slide your hands down to heart center, two elbows in one leg. Inhale to lift your chest. Exhale, twist over to the right. Hook your left elbow to the outside of right knee. Press palm into palm, knee into elbow, and use that connection to roll the chest over. Good. Draw more of your center heart to thumb. And then if breath is here, you fly away. Reach your two arms apart. 
And if breath is with you to go towards the bind, top arm over back, bottom underneath your thighs. Yes, Kate. One more inhale to roll open. Exhale, two hands together, come back through center. Stay with it, stay low. Good, inhale, lift your heart. You exhale, twist to the left, hook, right? Elbow to the outside of the knee. Good, palm to palm, knee to elbow, use that connection. Nice, Paige, just draw your right hip back a little bit more to deepen that twist, good. If breath is there, yeah, fly away, two arms apart. If you want the bind, top arm over back, bottom under thighs, center heart to ceiling, inhale. Good, exhale, two hands together, back through center, final moment, stay low. Good, inhale, lift your heart. And then exhale, forward fold, let it go. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, release, forward fold. Two hands down. Step back, pause, upward push-up plank. This is for you, Alakshi. Good, pause inside of upward push-up plank, shoulders away from ears. Yeah, you can totally use your knees just like we did in the start of class. It's the same pose. Good, listen closely. Take an inhale, lift your right leg up, just your right leg up. Good, exhale, put your right foot down. Good, inhale, lift your left leg up. Good, exhale, put your left foot down. Good, now pick up your right leg. Good, bend your knee, kick your right knee towards your right arm, your right tricep. Good, kick it back and then put it down on your mat. We're still in it, upper push up. Good, pick up left leg. Good, bend the knee, kick left knee to left tricep. Good, kick it back and then place it down. All right, we're gonna do it one more time and then half pigeon. So give it all you've got. Inhale, right leg up. Good, exhale, bend the knee, kick your tricep. Good, inhale, kick it back. Exhale, put it down. Good, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to tricep. Good, inhale, kick it back. Exhale, put it down, upper push up. Stay with it, inhale, press the mat away. Exhale, flow it out, lower down. Inhale, through your up dog, shoulders back, lift chest. Exhale, hips high, heels low. Right, as promised, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, bend your knee, swing it through, half pigeon. Bring your right knee to the outside of your right shoulder. And use your palms on your mat a moment to help square left hip forward and right hip a little back. Once you feel steady, then you crawl yourself forward and down. You rest on elbows, on forearms, on forehead. And close your eyes. And slip into the stillness so succinctly, so sweetly. It's indulgent. And that, that doesn't mean that you have to love half pigeon. And that, that doesn't mean that you can't have resistance inside of this practice or inside of anything you do. But what it means is that you can choose a way of looking at something that doesn't have to make it good or make it bad, but that lets it be an experience. Something while it's here that you get to feel fully, right? you get to acknowledge, and eventually you get to let it move. But in order for something to move or something to shift, you, you have to be with it first. So get really still. Be with it. And know that there is something on the other side. Exhale, S A. -H. 
and inhale, scan your body, release slow. And then let it go with an H, M. Yourself. Two more of those breaths, nice inhales through your nose. And that hum, exhale to let it go. Hmm. Once you finish your two breaths, really, really slowly reverse yourself up out of this one, palms under shoulders. Peel your chest away from your mat. You'll tuck your back toes. You'll step your right foot back. You'll take your flow and then find down back. Once you find down dog, then half pigeon on the left side. So inhale, left leg up. You'll exhale, bend your knee, and you'll swing it through. Left knee a little wider than left wrist. Pause with heart lifted first. Get all of that length in front side body. And then crawl yourself forward down to elbows, to forearms, maybe forehead. Find a place, you get to pause, you get to breathe, you get to be. And then you ask yourself to get really still. See where your mind goes. Right? That other thing that feels really important right now. And invite yourself back here. This moment is the most important moment. Not because yoga is this profound thing or because half pigeon is a profound pose. Because this is what's happening right now. Give yourself to it fully. Every sensation, every breath. Exhale, S A. Inhale, scan your body. H M. Give yourself two more slow, steady breaths. And once you finish those, then you slowly, slowly find your way up out of it. And pause a moment with heart lifted, then tuck your back toes. With back knee, you'll step left foot back, upper push up, a flow, and then your downward facing dock. When you get there, move it around just like the first one. Bend the knees, nod your head, maybe take some hops. See what's changed. What feels a little new. And then from downward facing dog, roll yourself forward to upper push up plank. Slowly bring two knees down to your mat. Use the strength of your belly. And then walk your hands back. Come to stand on your knee. Set up for a camel pose. Knees hips width distance, palms to low spine. And fingertips face down. Okay, draw the elbows close together behind you. And send your hips a little forward. Lift the tip of your chin to the ceiling. Good, then look across the ceiling or the sky, whatever is above you. As you send your hips a little more forward, lift your heart up even higher. Good, soften head back to cradle of shoulder blades. You can grab your heels if you can keep your heart the highest point. Nice, Lior, send your hips a little more forward so they stack over your knees. That was it, now lift your heart a little more up. Yes, good, soften the throat. Yes, Alejandro, one more inhale. 
And then slowly, palms to low spine, guide yourself up, see the front of the room, sit your hips to your heels, and close your eyes. Find that seat, and let your palms rest on top of your thighs, right? Take a moment to get still, get quiet. Let the dust Gently, flutter your eyes open. Bring your hands to your sides and swing your legs out long in front of you. Rock the fleshy parts a few moments from underneath your legs. And then flex your toes back towards your nose. Yeah, reach your arms straight up, take an inhale. Exhale, hinge up and over your hips, reach toes, ankles, clothing. Right? You can grab your feet or whatever you've got, right? And if feet are too far away, you really want to catch them today, bend your knees. You'll get your toes, right? And then every inhale, you send your heart a little forward. Right? And every exhale, you draw your heart a little deeper. Good. Shoulders back. Inhale, center heart forward. Exhale, slow. Pull yourself in. Release the grip of your hands. Roll yourself up to sitting. And then really simply lie yourself down on your back. We've got one more bit of effort there. So once you lie down, bend your knees so your feet come flat on your mat. Palms face down by your sides so you could like tickle your wrists with your fingertips. Good. We'll go for a bridge pose together. So press down into your feet your feet. Squeeze your butt, take an inhale, and then send your hips towards the ceiling. Good. Once you lift your hips up, squeeze the butt more, and then walk your hands closer underneath you. You can interlace fingers and draw the shoulder blades towards each other and then away from your ears. Kick into your feet, squeeze your butt, lift your hips a little higher. Stay with it. Smooth breath through your nose for five, Hips up, four, squeeze butt, three, stay for two. And then release the grip of your hands, slowly bring your hips to your mat. Good, draw your knees to your chest, grab for opposite elbows, give yourself a hug. Rock side to side, side to side. And then happy baby, a moment, open up your legs, grab pinky side edges of your feet. You might rock side to side or lengthen a leg and the other. Empty out your air, S-A. Inhale, big Buddha belly breath in. And then stick your tongue out, lion's breath. Ha. Good, slowly release your legs to your mat. Come into your final savasana. And for a final few minutes together as a group, we will end here. Right, you've carved out an hour of your day, so give yourself this time. It is part of your hour. Let your toes fall open, your palms rest by your side. Close your eyes. You've done all of your work to get here. Where you can soak up everything you have given yourself, learned about yourself. And where this yoga is something that you take off your mat with you. Thank you so, so much. As you may know, we are and always will be donation-based. So that no matter who you are or where you come from, or whatever your story, this yoga is available. And if you are in the position to give today, $12 is the suggested donation. Never a floor or a ceiling. I just ask that you give whatever you are able. I'll leave the website as well as our Venmo in the chat for after class, if you are able to go ahead and donate there. 
And if you are lit up by this yoga, please keep coming. Keep finding your mat, keep exploring. This practice doesn't exist without you truly. And if you wanted to dive in deeper, we have an online teacher training coming up at the end of this month. And if you're even curious a tiny bit, please ask me. Right, today we will end with a quote, one final breath. And then you are welcome to linger. You are also welcome to go. This is from The Alchemist. When each day is the same as the next, it's because people fail to recognize the good things that happen in their lives every time the sun rises. One last time together, please empty out your air. Inhale, nice and slow. Exhale. Thank you so much for your practice. You're welcome to stay in Savasana. If you would like to come back to Sita, you can wiggle fingers and toes. Roll your head from side to side. Roll to one side and press yourself up. Once you come to see the top, gently flutter your eyes open. Welcome yourself back into your room. Thank you so much for your practice this afternoon, seeing so many amazing faces, familiar and new. Um, this is officially the end of our class. If you have any questions or anything you want to say please feel free to unmute yourselves other than that have a beautiful rest of your day thank you so much